Whether people bike because of the affordability or efficiency, biking as a form of transportation has become an enticing alternative to driving. It's an easy way to exercise and helps the environment, overall making it very convenient to use in urban areas like DC and Montgomery County. It kind of gives, gives people the freedom to set their own schedule. So they're not tied to the uh, public transit schedule and they're not, and, uh, and, then, and then you can also, you know, just avoid all the traffic. Uh, when I first moved to Washington um, and I lived in the region, biking was really not a popular transportation choice. Back in like two, the year 2000, we had about 1% of the people bicycling, bicycling to work. Now it's over 4%. It's a great complement to transit and to walking. And so, um, you know, in, a, in an urban environment, it can be, you know, one of the three or four main ways people get around, and I think that's great. The rise in bike sharing programs in metropolitan DC and the surrounding area has aided the increasing interest in biking. Programs like Capital Bike Share allow DC residents to pick up a bicycle from any of the numerous docking stations. People without easy access to a personal bike can pick a docking station, take a bike, and return it anywhere else in the city. I saw the introduction of bike share in downtown DC, which really was kind of a symbol of change in people's uh, preferences about how they would move around the city. And when Capital Bike Share opened, suddenly there were thousands of people on these bright red bikes everywhere, and you couldn't pretend like you didn't see them. Our Capital Bike Share is one of the oldest um, systems in the country. Uh, and it's been proven to be quite a success as far as transit systems go. It's a really visible way to uh, increase the viability of biking for transportation. Despite the many benefits to biking, cyclists are more vulnerable in urban areas. Densely populated cities mean more foot traffic in cars, and bikers have minimal protection. This lack of safety prevents many additional people from choosing to bike. So the rules of the road are, in D.C. and virtually everywhere else, is that bicycle, bikes are allowed to be in the road and use the road. Um, and that's fine on a lot of streets, but as the traffic gets higher and the speeds get higher, people don't feel comfortable on the streets. So a lot of people, you know, are, are just too afraid to ride on the streets with cars. It's just, it's just too, too dangerous and too scary, and, and that's, that's a big concern. On a bike, um, you certainly feel more vulnerable. Um, by and large, you're not really in any more, like statistically, at any more risk of, of getting hurt than you are when you're driving. But, you know, people need to feel safe. That's, that's kind of the big issue that's been holding back a lot of people from biking. They, they know it's good for them. They know it's good for uh, our, the world that we live in. Uh, but, you know, people don't want to do that if, it, if they feel that, that their safety is in jeopardy. So that's really an area we're trying to work on. The development of bike lanes in the urban area curbs safety hazards and invites bikers to share the road. By providing a simple barrier between bikers and motorists, bike lanes allow people uncomfortable with biking on crowded city streets to enjoy biking while still feeling safe. Every time they build, you know, more bike lanes or more bike paths and trails, um, you know, that, that helps a lot. Um, making sure that people on bikes have low stress places to ride. Um, sometimes that's as simple as a painted bike lane. Often that means um, a protected bike lane, which is something that's got either uh, uh, plastic posts or a concrete curb or uh, some trees or bushes that separate you from, um, physically separate you from moving traffic. Lots of times it can be a row of parking. So instead of having the car lane, bike lane, and parking, you move the parking over into the bike lane between the curb and the parking. When you build this kind of bike infrastructure, uh, protected bike lanes they're called, that a lot of people begin to bike who otherwise wouldn't bike. So we're trying to make areas, whether it's painted bike lanes or separated bike lanes and trails where they'll feel more comfortable. You know, it makes people feel more comfortable and makes them feel like that's a possibility for them that they could choose to do that. It, there are people who want to ride bikes that feel like they can't. And that's the real problem that needs to be solved. So, Anything that makes that easier for people, it's great. We need to make bike facilities that are um, easier to use and people feel more comfortable in them and they know where they're supposed to be. Biking has readily become a key aspect of transportation in the DC metro area. 
Even though biking as a transportation introduces certain safety challenges, which deters possible riders, the increase in services like bike lanes or bike sharing have made cycling an easier way to get around the city. I ride to work almost every day, um, one because I enjoy it, but also because it actually takes less time. Like walking seems kind of too slow, and driving or taking a bus is sometimes too fast, but, um, but biking is just the right speed, so it's just a more enjoyable uh, way to get around in a lot of cases.